Hey guys, Taylor here and welcome to my review of Acer's Nitro 5 17 inch RTX 3050 Ti gaming laptop. We're really happy with the new upgrades and changes from previous versions and some of the body changes. And in this review, we're going to tell you about those. And as you know, we always like to start out the video with do we recommend this product and who is it for? So in this case, for the Acer Nitro 5 gaming laptop, we definitely recommend it. But first, before you pull the trigger on that purchase, there are some things that you should know about it. And I've got to say, Acer really outdid themselves on this laptop. It's lightning fast, which is what you'd expect with a top of the line Nvidia graphics card. And it's definitely one of the best budget laptops out there compared to similar laptops. So with that being said, we're calling this one Acer's powerhouse laptop on a budget. Now that's not to say that you have to be a gamer to buy this laptop. If you're into gaming, definitely yes, but it suits so many different situations. For people who do photo editing, video editing, live streaming videos, Zoom calls, presentations, and just general daily use, this laptop will work exceptionally well for you too, and it's going to last for years to come, so just keep that in mind during this review. However, with that being said, if you're watching this review, chances are you're looking for a laptop that's going to be able to handle your gameplay without breaking the bank. So that's what I'm mostly going to be focusing on in this video. Overall, what you get for buying this laptop is great speed, performance, build quality, and price, with plenty of onboard memory and RAM, which just goes to show how this Acer Nitro 5 really packs a punch for the price. So feel free to stick around for those details and the rest of our review if you like, so you can find out more and decide if this laptop is right for you. And as always, I'll add any helpful links in the description below, so you can check out the latest price on this or any other products referenced in this video. So let's jump right in. Now this mostly solid black 17.3 inch gaming laptop comes with an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 graphics card. So what does that mean for you? It means it's going to be pretty darn fast. And with this Acer 5, you're not really giving up much, if anything, for the speed. Compared to other budget laptops, this one was our favorite because other laptops we tested out had some problems and we couldn't really recommend those. The 3050 graphics card is quite a step up from its predecessor and it's super fast. We were really impressed with the performance of this laptop as we put it through its paces for our gaming tests, and it was mostly due to this NVIDIA graphics card. However, the overall performance was pretty amazing thanks to its combined features. So the laptop itself is made of heavy duty plastic, and in the past, Acer typically had red LEDs around the edges, but in recent years they've been getting away from those little by little. So you'll find on this model that it's mostly all black save for the little red glow along the back, and some red plastic along the back as well. Other older models have beveled edges, and we're glad to find they did away with those for smoother, sleeker edges you see now. Another cool change is that instead of having the power port on the side, it's in the back, which I believe the previous model had this change as well, but compared to older models that had the power plug on the side, it's a great feature. It's just so much better and easier to have the plug in the back instead of the side. Now, one of the issues we wanted to bring to attention here is that while Acer claims it gets about 8 hours of playing time on a fully charged battery, it actually gets closer to about 4 hours on a full charge but that's actually pretty decent, and right about where you'd expect for a laptop like this to get with this kind of hardware. And that's with full brightness, the red backlit keyboard in use, and better settings in play. Also, along with that red backlit keyboard, the touchpad used to have a red outline, but we're kind of happy to see they've done away with that. We didn't really feel it was necessary to have it, and it saves battery life without it as well. Okay, now, the screen is about 270 nits of brightness, which is a really comfortable level of brightness for a computer screen, and maybe even a little too bright. So you can adjust this if necessary, and also the screen is pretty easily visible from all angles without any issues. And while we recommend this laptop for everything from gameplay to video editing due to its pretty large size of 17.3 inches, if you're going to be working on finer details for long hours, I would recommend a much larger external monitor, just to be a little easier on your eyes. But for a few hours here and there, it might not even be a problem for you at all. So let's break down a few of the technical specs for you. Its resolution is 1920 by 1080 pixels, and it has a fast 144Hz refresh rate, which is perfect for any game. The CPU is an 11th generation Intel Core i7-11800H processor with 4GB of dedicated RAM to help keep your processor running fast. It also has a base processor speed of 2.4GHz and a Turbo Boost Max at a whopping 4.6GHz, and never even unleashes the full potential of the NVIDIA graphics card. Now what that means put simply is that it has some of their latest technology on board. This processor has 8 cores and 16 threads, and it's designed to process at a faster rate so that it won't slow down your gameplay, which is the goal, right? Less lag means more wins. And it also comes with 16 gigs of onboard RAM. Not the greatest amount of RAM, however, it's upgradable, so that's definitely a plus for those of you who enjoy upgrading your laptops or just like having your specs maxed out. Normally, a decent amount of RAM for gameplaying speeds is 32 gigs, but with this graphics card, you can definitely get away with these 16 gigs. 
without ever taxing your graphics card. But in our test, we had clean, crisp, smooth gameplay without any problems, and that was without any upgrades. So really, it's just optional. And we even tested out games with high frame rate requirements of 185 frames per second, like when we played Valorant. Some of the other games we tested and enjoyed were GTA 5 at 120 frames per second, World of Tanks at 155 frames per second, and Minecraft at 135 frames per second, and never had any lag, choppiness, or any other issues. But if upgrading your system is something you'd like to do, this laptop maxes out at 32 gigs of RAM, which is two 16 gig chips, so that's something to know if you're interested. Now, the next awesome feature about this Acer Nitro 5 is the onboard storage and upgrade ability it comes with, which we were super impressed with for this price point. It comes with a terabyte of onboard M.2 NVMe SSD memory. So what this laptop has is one NVMe slot that can be upgraded to two terabytes of memory in this slot, but it also has the ability to connect an external hard drive as well, so the memory options alone were impressive. This more than surpassed my needs in a computer for the foreseeable future. But with that being said, it should last anyone a good long time, which is one of the reasons we highly recommend this laptop. And for those with business needs, you can store all kinds of videos and presentations with those storage capabilities. I mean, it just makes sense. The more years you get out of your machine, the more money you're going to save. And if you can do that without emptying your wallet, all the better. Next up for ports, we have an RJ45 for fast cable internet, a USB second generation Thunderbolt Type-C HDMI 2.1 port, which you can use for powered off charging, two regular USB Type-A generation 1 ports, and a combo audio jack for both headphones and microphone. And something else to keep in mind that you're probably thinking, if this laptop is so great, what am I giving up for the price? And as I mentioned in my intro, there are a few things that you should know about this laptop before you confirm that purchase. So let's get started on those. And I'll just say right up front that none of those were deal breakers for us. So for one thing, this laptop weighs close to six pounds, which is a little heavy to lug around. So yeah, a little heavy to carry around in your backpack or your laptop bag, sure. But how much weight are you really going to shave off really? A pound or two, maybe? And the size isn't too bulky, really. It still has a pretty slim design. So compared to its more expensive counterparts, it's a little heavier than most, but we found it worth it for what you get. And if you're not really the grab it and go type, then this probably won't be an issue for you. The next thing is it has cool boost technology, which is great and usually keeps the Acer 5 from overheating, but I wanted to talk about this here for a second. We found that when you put this on best performance settings, the fans are not kicking in often enough to keep the CPU cool all the time in heavy gameplay. It does have a more streamlined cooling design in the back as well for better cooling, but the fans are also kind of loud, which is totally expected and again, not a deal breaker for us. We were expecting that from this type of model, but I know some people have a pet peeve of loud fans, so I figured it was worth mentioning. But that being said, you're going to want to have your settings set to better performance, not best performance, so your fans will kick on as needed and help you keep your CPU cooler. So that's just something important to keep in mind. Now another thing is this laptop is also VR rated, which we thought was excellent for this price point. If VR is something you're into, let me assure you that you'll have no trouble with this laptop. It also comes with Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0, so you should have no trouble connecting and staying connected at higher gameplay speeds. You can play any and all games with all the accessories you can think of without any trouble, including external monitors, keyboards, printers, and more. And the only thing that's missing from this laptop is the SD card reader and optical drive, so I think that's worth mentioning as well. That being said though, most laptops these days don't come with an internal CD slash DVD drive, and you can always buy an external one, as this laptop has plenty of ports you can use for those. So with that, to sum up our review of the Acer Nitro 5 RTX 3050 Ti, Overall, we were very impressed with its performance and we'd recommend it to anyone. There are a few issues to keep in mind, like the fact that it's a little heavier than most and you want to make sure you're keeping your settings to better performance to keep it cool. And also, the fans kicking into high speed is a little loud, but none of those things were deal breakers for us. For us, we couldn't believe the specs and features of this laptop combined with the brilliance of the screen quality for this price. And to top it all off, it's super fast with a lot of room to expand on the memory, but it's really not even necessary, save for the fact that you're going to get a lot of years out of a budget laptop. Not to mention, it's VR recommended, and you can play every modern game known to man, and I have to say, I played a lot of games on this laptop, and it was a fantastic experience. But you know, I watched some Netflix and YouTube and did some video editing on it, and I recommend it for everyday use and for video editors as well. The value you'll find in this laptop really can't be beat. For its purposes, you can do anything with it, from business to pleasure. So that's it for this review. We appreciate all the feedback and comments. And if you have any questions or any products you'd like to see us review, then let us know in the comments because we always love responding to those and we're always happy to help. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.